there are so many talented Greeks all over the world, and I'm sitting with one of them. Angelo Lambru is haute couture, wedding designer, and not only. Uh, he is a South African uh, Greek Cypriot. Absolutely right. <laughs> and he came to the United States in 2000 to take over the wedding gown world. He's done many Miss Universe and Miss Botswana pageants. And his work speaks for itself. I mean, Angelo, you're very talented. I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans. Well, thank you, Yanamu. You've always been yes and a great friend too. Um, so, so wedding dresses, it's just one of the things that we do. We do haute couture, so that means um, in the mix of doing evening couture, we also do bridal couture, so they're one-of-a-kind wedding dresses. I'd love you to tell our audience the difference of, of, of couture. Define okay, couture. Okay, so couture. I mean, couture is, is a word that everybody throws here and there, and it's kind of like they're using lost it too its much value. And that's why I want to explain to people what really, what is couture? What is couture? It's an art. Couture is absolutely an art. Um, couture is something that um, uh, is referred to a, a gown that is handmade. Okay, so usually um, it's not something that is mass produced. It's not a gown that um, has been made um, a thousand times and comes to you, you know. Uh, so it's one of a kind. It's when you're a getting kind. a couture, it is yours and signature baby, it's all yours. Touched by my hands. Yeah. And your dresses are an art because uh, they really remind me of uh, a lot of the exhibits that they do at the Met. Um, every time I go to the Met and I'll see something, you know, so Vivian Westwood, uh, Alexander, had, McQueen. Alexander McQueen, they're just an art and this is what I feel when I look at your gowns, I can, the lines and the drapes and the, what inspires you, uh, Angela, when you design? Well, Yanamu, you know, everyone asks me that same question and, um, uh, you know, I, I've often racked my brains thinking, what does inspire me? You know, I'm not one to take off and sit on the Tibetan mountains getting inspiration, you know. Um, so my inspiration really is derived by women. My, my customers, you know, who am I dressing and how do I want this woman to look like? And ultimately, it's that woman who inspires me. That is amazing. And life, of course. Yes. And I notice you use a lot of different colors and not that really bright white when you do design uh, and use fabric. Uh, your textiles are exquisite. They're silks. They're not very bulky. Tell me about where do you find your textiles? Well look, all of our textiles are, are, are natural silks, okay? I insist on using um, only natural fibers um, and uh, they're all derived from Europe. They're all Italian or French um, uh, uh, silks um, and I only use the best laces out of France. So I do believe that, you know, um, in order to achieve the best quality in an outfit, you have to use the best um, ingredients. Yes. In my case, that being fabric. And uh, growing up, where did you study and who were your idols as a designer? All right, so my first idol was my father, okay? Not a designer, um, but um, just his work ethic and just the, the inspiration, you know, that he gave me as a child. And that... Um, what line of work was your dad in? My father did civil engineering, oh. which is construction in a different way, you know? Um, I construct dresses, he constructed buildings. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> For similarities, but not quite the same. Yes, of course not. Mm -hmm. So you got your work ethic from your father? Got my work ethic from my father. So, um, you know, I'm a first generation South African. I was born in, in, in Southern Africa, so um, just to cut it all short, because it's, it, it's a complicated life. I've been everywhere and lived everywhere, but I was born in Zimbabwe, lived in Botswana and South Africa. So those are all three countries that are in Southern Africa. And then, of course, I, I did my teenage years in, in Cyprus. Oh, I see. And you went to uh, School of Design? Yeah, I did School of Design. Uh, I finished high school um, in uh, 1989. That was Cyprus. Went back to South Africa and did fashion. And that's where I learned the core and the, 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 the most of what I needed, the basic um, uh, uh, sort of foundations of, of fashion. When did you know you wanted to, to design a clothes? Um, 
actually quite later in life. Um, up until I was about 14, 15, I always thought I was going to do architecture. Mm. And that was very well liked amongst the family, you know. Um, but then it soon changed. And uh, I decided to take a different direction because um, just my personality is just one that, you know, needs to change often. <laughs> so I thought seasons are great. Um, fashion changes with seasons, so perhaps fashion. Like I, I was really in search of trying to find a, a way to use my talent in, in, in a way that sort of gave me satisfaction. And you found that through through uh, uh, fashion dresses and uh, dresses. Yeah, dresses. Because I notice it's it's always even your pret a porter line. I remember. Or was it yes. nightwear? Yeah, evening cocktail has always sort of been my my um, uh, my signature, strength yeah. and my s signature. So um, uh, you know, I have uh, you know, I like attention for detail. Um, uh, it's difficult to sort of um, reproduce something that you've given birth to in many do, do you know what I'm saying? Yes, of course. Well, um, you're, you're, you're painting on someone's body with fabric. That's it. Yeah. And that's what old couture is. That's what couture is. It's really, it's one of a kind. And that's where I find most of my, my strengths lie really in, in constructing one of a kind type uh, dresses. It's almost like a canvas where I, 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 I have the person in mind, I have my fabrics and my colors, and I, I just drape hours so, into the morning. As a, as a uh, South African, how do you find life in America? How do you find fashion? How different are the people here and the Greeks? Well, look, um, obviously New York is an, uh, is an amazing city. This is one place I've always wanted to be because it's a platform for any artist to, to come and um, learn, grow, improve, become so much better than, um, uh, than what they thought. You know, so really it carves you to be the best because you've got no choice. And um, that it was, keeps you going. That's true. New York is definitely it, it a city. It keeps you going. Yeah, it keeps you on your feet. <laughs> yeah, if you're not two steps ahead, well, you're gone. You know, the saying it'll chew you up and spit you out in no time. <laughs> if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. That's exactly what brought me here, Frankie's song. It, uh, there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. So um, New York has been a very inspiring place because one, it, it, it forces you to find who you really are because it's, it's in search of, um, because of the fact that there's so much of everything, you really need to find who you really are. What is true to you? Um, in order to really take on that next step. Because the sky is the limit here, and um, quite honestly, for anybody who's traveled across the planet, you know, um, you'd want to see yourself improve and be better, and right. that's the purpose of being here. So um, it's a constant search to, to become a better person, um, do what you do at your very best. Mm -hmm. And um, I find New Yorkers have had such a great role because they're, um, they've been there, you know. All successful New Yorkers know that they've had to. It is to the world of fashion. It's a world of, it's the beginning of really, well, I, I don't know. I mean, Milan and Paris, yes. as far as fashion is concerned, I think they kind of, they kind of set the, 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 the road for. They really do. I mean. Um, for the, the rest of the world when it comes to fashion. Absolutely, I mean, you know. But New Yorkers take it and then they wear it and make it their own. New Yorkers embrace it in a different way. You know, they accept something new um, with more, with a, a grander sort of open scale. arms, yeah. scale, exactly. So, um, and, and, and that's why the opportunities are so much more vibrant here than they are perhaps in Paris or, or Milan, you know. So do you like the life here more than abroad? Uh, um, you know, I, I love life here because it keeps me going and it, 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 you know, you're constantly in search for being a, a better person and better at what you do. Um, and I love the fast pace as well because that keeps you young, I guess. <laughs> I wish you could say that it makes me feel tired, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know exactly what you're talking about. Don't you want to get off the merry-go-round a little bit? Yeah, that's when you hit Greece. That's right. Greece you get off Cyprus. the boat. If you've had enough in New York, just get on that plane and check out for a couple of weeks. Check out into a small, nice little hotel on the beach. Have Sounds someone serve fish to, me. to you. So, 
I guess what I'm saying is a, a nice mm -hmm. balance is, is good for you. You know, New York is great, but I think you need to get out mm -hmm. and enjoy just the simpler things in life like we, we know from our Greek side. That's true. What do women do wrong in fashion? What do women do wrong in fashion? What is wrong? I mean, give, give our viewers your advice on girls. Do everything, but don't do this. I think that the, the, the one thing that women do wrong is um, they take advice from all the wrong sources. Which are? Which are? The magazines, I'm kidding. The magazines. <laughs> well, in one aspect, yes, because, you know, what's written in a magazine often caters to the masses, okay? Every single person is different. Everyone is an individual. And I think um, what's been going on is instead of one uh, finding themselves and their own particular style, you know, they, they tend to follow a trend. And they all look the same. And everyone starts looking the same. And, and not everything, you know, uh, looks good on everybody. So I think it's, it's really good to just uh, step back, look at yourself, and really truly um, find what looks good on you in, in your own head first before you start taking advice right. you know obviously there's experts out there who can advise you but i think it all starts from within oh, it's like, like finding it. your own favorite food you know or color what i favorite. can't tell you what your favorite food is Yanamu. no you cannot <laughs> but i can tell you what dress looks great on you what dress looks good on me? but you can also say what doesn't look good on you yes that's true so well, women need to be like you oh well thank you <laughs> Angela, we love you. We love your designs. Uh, we want to see more of you. Where can someone find you if they're looking to uh, uh, choose the wedding gown of their dreams? Not only, you, you, you'd also do night uh, cocktail dresses and evening gowns. Yes, um, you know, quite often we do mothers of the bride. We do, um, you know, anybody who's attending a gala, an evening event. Uh, but predominantly we do cater to your brides. Um, so we're located in the East Village here on 96 East 7th Street. And um, they can see your designs online? They can see our designs online if you go to www.angelolambrew.com. Wonderful. They'll get a flavor of what I'm all about. Good. And um, there are uh, there is a, another boutique uh, where you can find my things. Um, and that's at Gabriella's, also here in Manhattan. Um, but because it's such a personal service that I provide and because we do haute couture, um, it is advisable that you come and visit us here because, you know, our whole um, concept is creating something that is specifically designed for you, one of a kind. So, look up Angelo when you're ready to have that special dress specifically designed for you by the master, Angelo Lambrou. Angela, thank you for having us. We wish you lots of luck and more gowns to come. Thank you, Yanamo. Always a pleasure.